if you've taken a walk outside recently, which you should, you've likely noticed a lot of amateur art on display from chalk on sidewalks to encouraging signs and windows. Families are brightening up the world with positive messages. And in tonight's Positively Kelly Land, Matt Holson takes you to a neighborhood right in the heart of Sioux Falls. With all the decorations on houses these days, you'd think it was Christmas or Halloween. Instead, it's families trying to put a little positivity out into the world. Brothers Oliver and Felix Carrier Damon are joining in, because half because they want to, and the other half because... Our mom can't. told us we had to. Yeah. And I think it's nice to people, and I think it's pretty because then people could can walk by and see it. Nine-year-old Oliver hopes to see his friends and school teachers again sometime soon, while seven-year-old Felix just wants a break. But here we kind of do recess because we kind of take short breaks and like scooter. No, we kind of never take breaks. While the boys work their way through this challenging time, Tom and Catherine Schnabel are taking walks every day and are inspired by what they see. Well, we're seeing a lot of things, signs in windows. We're seeing teddy bears in a lot of windows. They're great. We. Uh, Rainbows and windows. Rainbows and windows. Yeah, and um, some of the sidewalk art is really fun. And the art usually features important messages about kindness and putting out good vibes. It's amazing how creative people can be, how innovative they can be when times get tough. Oliver and Felix know exactly what they want people to feel and think about when they walk by their house. Happiness? Yeah. Happiness. Uh, to be kind. Spreading positivity one block at a time. For Positively Kettle Land, I'm Matt Holson. Oh, I just love to see everyone's displays. If you have some creative window displays or sidewalk art, be sure to send it to us at youshare at kettleland.com. We would love to see it.